Hello and welcome to the Revitalsium. It's a new video about uh, exhaust system ducting and uh, how Revit is able to detect the, the fittings from Ashray duct fitting database uh, intelligently and in a very robust manner. So let's have a look and this is a fitting this is a fitting it's um, it's, it's used in exhaust systems and uh, right now nothing is connected to this so i'm just going to attach some ducting to it and let's see what happens this fitting is made in in a way that its uh, angle of the branch it varies from 30 degrees to 45 degrees the so 30 degrees maximum and 45 uh, 30 is minimum and 45 is maximum it doesn't accept any other values uh, if I keep it 50 it will keep it uh, 45 as maximum anyway so I'll start with the 30 degrees and I'll start with doing some ducting on the this is the inlet side and this is the branch side so we'll do some kind of things that how does it works with the rivet uh, how does it work with the ashray duct fitting database when it comes to the pressure loss of these fittings so um, i have made a temporary air terminal family which i will be attaching to the end uh, the, the to this end end of this duct uh, it looks like in kind of end cap but it's a just a temporary fitting to do this simple experiment so i'll be loading that air terminal on the face of this duct so this is going to be 200 uh, and there you go i just have to grab the end face of it and then i have to connect my duct with this i can have some airflow set to this so let's say 350 liters per second and the same airflow it goes to the duct that's it and I attach to this part as well and there you go and then I have to attach my ducting to the air terminal let's set the proper value of uh, so this is going to be let's say 250 and the same 250 airflow is going to be inside this and consequently if I'll have if I if I make a duct here which is the outlet duct it's going to be it's going to have 350 plus 250 600 liters per second so now if I go here and I go to let me just if I go to uh, loss method settings ashray so I do see that it selects ed5-1 which is the same as this ashray duct fitting database software uh, where we can we have we have loaded all of the fittings and we can calculate for any particular fitting pressure loss in this particular case this is the exhaust system and in round ducting and then in the y it is 30 degree 30 degree this fitting where the branch is in a connected at, a, at an angle of 30 degrees with the main duct so that's the fitting and it's getting picked rightly now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to instead of 30 degree to 45 degree and see what happens so let's say i delete this duct and the air terminal and i select it and now i go to the angle and keep it 45 degrees then i'll make the new duct and also I will attach my air terminal to this and there you go and again I'm going to select the so 250 so that we have again this 
600 as total airflow here that's for Qcoin and now when I will select this it's the same fitting I didn't change the fitting except I changed the angle here and now when you will see that this fitting is changed here it is again selecting or picking up the correct fitting which is ED52 and that one this time is 45 degrees which here this one is ED51 30 degrees and the next one is ED52 which is with 45 degrees and if you if you do the calculations here by going into by going into analyze and duct pressure loss report it will do exactly same calculations if also done by here but before we do that let's sh uh, let me show that what would happen if i set any other angle other than 30 or 45 degrees uh, so let's see what will happen in that case would Revit will be able would Revit be able to select some proper duct fitting table or not so let's have a look so I'm going to delete this duct again and this time I'll choose an, some angle between 30 and 45 let's say I choose it to 35 degrees which is this and I'll the draw the duct there you go and now I'll attach the air terminal quickly and I going to have air terminal I'm going to have airflow set and airflow is set and now once I pick this fitting it shows me warning and what's that warning says that no loss defined so Revit is not able to detect any of the ashray configuration because this time the inlet angle is not one of the standard angles which ashray defines either 30 or 45 degrees it's none of them so Revit is not able to do any of these so quickly I'm going to just control Z undo and let's go back to our 45 degree configuration with the correct ashra fitting chosen by rivet so now we have another fitting here let's do another fitting with this and this time this fitting is also in ashra so it is double y with the number ed510 so the limitation of this fitting it says in ashray that the inlet and outlet area they have to be same the as equals ac so as is a inlet area and ac is outlet area they have to be same and for them to be same the dia of inlet and outlet they have to be same and moreover the area of branch one and branch two and the dia of branch one and branch two they also have to be same so if we choose any other configuration other than this it won't work i mean Revit won't be able to do the calculation and also it won't be able to calculate the pressure drop or select the proper ashtray duct fitting table from there so let's give it a quick uh, look so what i'm gonna do is that my inlet in this case is my inlet is 300 and let's say i keep the outlet like a little bigger than that 350 let's say and let's say I keep the both of the both of the branches as 150 and 150 so the both of the branches are same the length of them are not same but that doesn't matter it's not a big deal about it so I'm just going to quickly connect some ducts and and then I will be connecting quickly the air terminals the same air terminal just to get some flow in these ducts and there you go I'll set some value of air I'll set some value let's say 200 in this and again I will do I will attach a terminal here and uh, this time also i'll keep let's say 250 i'll keep here 275 instead 
so in this case I will have some airflow in the outlet of this fitting which will be the sum of the inlet plus the sum of these two branches an inlet has 600 and outlet one is uh, the branch one is 275 and branch two is 200 so the outlet should be 100,075 now if I select this it it gives me the same warning again which says that it's it's not able to pick any of the table here it's because like I said that the inlet and outlet areas and the branch one and branch two areas they have to be same which is not the case with volume fitting but if I choose my fitting in Revit to have the same outlet area as of the inlet area which here was the, this is the inlet and that was 300 and if I choose the same area here instead of 350 I choose 300 and then the magic happens and boom that vo that warning message is gone and if I select this fitting again and I choose click this button loss method settings there you go I get the same fitting 85-10 inside Revit and if you go to analyze if you go to analyze and do the pressure loss reports and use this three let's say there you go it it calculates all the pressure losses of every single inlet and outlet and branches just like here it does in this software it does if you, if you do if you change the values 200 275 this value by the way they don't match with this uh, uh, with the Revit values I think the areas are same uh, but uh, not the flow rates but anyhow the branch one pressure loss branch two pressure loss with the loss coefficients uh, they are the s likewise we do get this pressure loss values exactly this, the same as of that software so hope you like this video and hope you learn something out of it take care and have a nice time bye bye